A new pair of hands are helping doctors perform surgery at Tideland's Georgetown Memorial Hospital. Yes, those robotic assisted arms are now being used by doctors during procedures. Samantha Popovic joins us live. Samantha, tell us more about the robotic assisted surgery and what the benefits are. Good morning. Tideland's Georgetown Memorial Hospital is now reporting that patients prefer robotic assisted surgery over traditional surgery based on its benefits, which include lower pain levels and a faster recovery rate. The robotic assisted program is used for hernia and colon surgeries, gallbladder, urological, gynecological, and even hysterectomies. The first robotic assisted surgery was performed last week at Tideland to Georgetown Hospital. The hospital says after seeing the success rate of the state of the art robot at Tideland's Waccamaw Community Hospital in Merle's Inlet, they wanted their own. According to Tideland's Health, the robotic assisted surgery is controlled by surgeons trained in the robotic procedure. They say the surgeons are able to control the robotic arms from a computer console that uses a high definition 3D camera. The camera, which can magnify the inside of the patient's body, shows the surgeon a more detailed look that is not visible to the human eye. Tideland's Health General Surgeon Dr. Mark Witkowski says he has been performing robotic assisted surgery for over a year now at Tideland's Waccamaw Community Hospital and has seen patients heal faster and have lower pain levels after surgery due to the robot's smaller and more precise incisions. It's really just allowed us to take minimally invasive laparoscopic surgery to uh, the next progression. It's, it's allowed us to do more advanced procedures through smaller incisions and ultimately it's really benefited patients for the recovery after surgery. Dr. Wachowski also says there is a misconception that the robot is the one doing the procedure. He says surgeons have full control and the robots serve as a system helping do the surgery by controlling the instruments for surgeons that would not be possible with straight edge instruments. Dr. Wachowski also says that they chose their Georgetown location to create a larger footprint for the robotic assisted program surgery, and they would like to expand to more people. Reporting live in West Ashley, Samantha Popovics, Live 5 News.